I doing Lincoln Mitchell here um I want to take you through some of the psychology and trading real quick um I got a great line this this is a, a blue line it, it's not strong but there's actually a green line right underneath it so we're gonna make this one we're gonna make this one green because it's still a good price it's not the accurate price but it's the price underneath it so this should be good all right now I want to take you out through the psychology of trade Here's the problem. This is my target. The trend and everybody says it's going down. But there's a major factor that sits at 522. 55.22. So we have to take that in consideration. We have to take this line in consideration. 55. This is important. So we need to make this into a warning. This is a warning price. Now, another thing we got to look at is the time. The market is dying down. Sometimes the market get unpredictable. People are trying to get their money back. So now we got to, we're going to put a couple things down here so y'all can pay attention to what's going on. We got the, uh, we got the warning here. We have the warning, so we're gonna paint this yellow to match with a friend. All right, this is the warning line. We got to be careful, man. This line is there and it's linking there. We know it. Now we have at the bottom, we have the target. This is the target. Okay. So now we have the warning and we have the target. Now the setup is good. Now, here's a very, very important part. That warning line has two friends. So now that's a problem. The target, now if we want to zoom in really close here, then I'm on. You see this area right here? Right there. That's dangerous. That's a great support. If that thing gets above that support, you in trouble. Now, our entry is 86. So, I'm going to put another line. And these are all the aspects you have to take 86. So, if it breaks this line, closes under, closes under. Now, now, we should be able to get down to the green line. But, it needs to close underneath this line. And remember, you got that warning up here, people. And now, what happens if you close underneath the line, then close, reclose back above that line? You got to get out of trade. But right now, your 86 is your number. So it's probably going to bounce off that for a moment because that's a, that's a, that's a, a, a really, really strong price. And so we got to see if it's going to break. So in a situation like this, when you got that warning, you got a warning area and the green line, the, your target in the middle. Sometimes the market tends to go sideways a little bit. It might go sideways. It might go sideways, but you all pay attention to this one because this was this this is an important line. As a matter of fact, if you're watching this video now, write that number down. See how I stop? It didn't close above underneath that line. See how it keeps banging on it? See there? And that's that's a problem. That's a problem, people. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Now let's look at the time. Now, let's take a look at the time. We can risk $500, and we should get in the profit some kind of way. But you notice it never broke that line. So don't risk anything. <laughs> don't risk anything yet. Let me see. I can risk something because I know what I'm doing. Hold on one second. Here. See, don't risk anything. You got It has to close underneath that line, people. <laughs> Excuse me. It has to close underneath that line for you to do anything now. It has to. There's nothing. I'm looking at the charts even better. And even on this setup right here, you can see that just created a major support right there. So you don't do anything. You don't do anything. And I've seen it when it was up here. But see, the problem which y'all fail to realize is right here. I hate this thing doing this all the time. Take that. 
right here was good. It was good, but this was you wanted. This right here got above. This was another support resistance. So now you have not one. We're going to make this one a little bit darker because it's not as strong as that one. But now you have two. It's stuck between two of them. Now you got your resistance here. You got support here. And this is how we're reading price right now. Only thing we're doing right now, people, we're reading strictly, strictly price. We're not reading anything else. We're reading how does price move, how does price fluctuate. We're, re we're reading the numbers. And you got to be really, uh, I wouldn't say like a math gene. You got to be one of them detail-oriented people to kind of pay attention to all that. So now we're going to, we're stuck here for a while. We got the look. So now what you do is, when you're in a situation like that, you cycle through everything else. So you go through, you look at other time frames, you want to see what's going on. Oh, 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 just got a major problem. See, see, this is how you get trapped in the market. Oh, oh, 13, there's a price, a strong price at 13. Uh-oh, you cycle through everything, man. You want to look at every single thing. This is a super warning right here, too. This is another warning, people. Now, question. Lincoln. What happens if this close above this line? Would you take it up? Hell no. You don't touch that at all. You're not looking. Let me tell y'all something right now. Get that bounce trading crap out your mind, part one. You're only looking for the most high probab probability trade, and you look for everything in your favor. That's what you're looking for. When I first came in this game, I would take so many trades. It was ridiculous. Don't do that, people. Don't do that. I want you to be very, very, very picky about the trades you take. Very, very picky. I mean, so picky that if it don't feel right, don't take it. I mean, I'm not saying overanalyze. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is be picky about the trades. Anytime you have a suspect, these are all too, these are too, too many suspects. And they're closer than your price. Right now, the price is 95. So this is a 50, this is down to 50 ticks right here, right? Am I right? That's 50. So this is 20. Which one you think is closer? You know, if you live in Atlanta, do you want to drive to Decatur or a Duluth or Kennesaw? You know, you know, everybody knows Decatur's closer. So you got to be careful with that. And you got to be careful with the time. Now, what's happening right now in my mind, in my mind, I'm looking at this big warning and say, holy crap, this thing really on one of the major time frames has not closed under here yet. It has not closed. Now, this is a big time frame, so you got to give this one time to do this. The swings are much bigger. That's why I normally only run a 15, 30 in an hour. And even on an hour, those swings are huge. Those swings are huge. Now, I'm going to show you something else that's going to scare you. Watch this. You're not taking everything into consideration, people. Watch this. Uh-oh. Look what happened. The hour even stopped there, too. See? That's dangerous, people. That's dangerous. That's very, very dangerous. We're still on a downtrend. There's no doubt about that. I'm just showing you things you better be careful of before you take that downtrend. So now, with that hour looking like that, that reinforces this. That means we definitely have to let it get underneath that 86 and close underneath that 86 for us to even consider taking a trade. Don't even consider taking it. Don't, excuse me. don't even consider taking it because if you don't, it, you know, you don't want to do anything that's going to give you. Uh -oh. I'm going to change the time all right. All right, let's get back to this one. Now, the worst thing we want this thing to do is engulf that one. If that engulf that, man, that's not good. So that that price, 86 and 96, what's this should be? 96. I mean, what's this? 95. We're going through everything, people. We're covering every step possible before we pull that trigger of that trade. We're going through every single step. Leave no rock unturned. Leave no troll behind as in that movie Trolls if you've seen it. We don't want to leave nothing behind and nothing to chance. This is a great sandwich technique that's going on. And if you zoom out, you can see this is a, you know, this is a good downtrend with a good target. 
And the target is actually underneath that, but y'all know what I'm saying. But we don't want to leave no stone unturned. See that? See how that thing is almost trying to get up? See, we don't want that to happen. We want it to continue down. We want it to close underneath it. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to pause this video and come back to it because there's no sense in me really going through it. Um, but until it breaks that line, people, that's not, you do not. And here's another thing. Stop making these y'all targets, people. Hire somebody to teach you how to do price and show you the right price. Like some people, they might sell it just to hit the low. And I'm telling you, this is the target. I'm telling you, this is where the market is trying to go. But until it gets underneath the line, yeah, still me. You don't do nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're gonna come back to this. To this, see what happens? Didn't I tell you that? See, didn't I tell you that? Didn't I tell y'all that? People, you have to get in here and understand what's going on. Didn't I tell you that thirteen was a major big warning? Now, with that at that thirteen, see how strong that went up. Now I'm gonna tell you what's going to happen. I mean, not what's going to happen, but what's happening. That right there. Is trying to get above 13. <clears throat> it might even get up to that 22 now. Now, we don't buy this, people. I'm telling you now, those are traps. Those are super, super traps. It's like a rat, and they're baiting you. They want you to try to buy those lows and sell those highs, and then they'll drop on you faster. You know, they'll drop on you faster than Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl. I'm telling you, don't do it. Let it go. That it, the trade is not worth it. I'm telling you, it's not. If that thing is going down, you let it go down. Don't you be looking only. You're not looking for reversals. You're looking for continue what reversal continuations. So what you're looking for, you're looking for something to hit this and go down. You're not looking for something to hit this and go up. Not against the trend. Don't do that, people. I'm telling you, do not do that. That's a trap. I'm telling you, that's a trap. Even if it goes up here, stay away from it. Stay away from it. We're gonna come back to this again. Folks, didn't I tell you don't move? Now you see why I said that. Don't move. You wait for the right setup. And this line right here told it all. And these two warnings told it all. That's the psychology behind trading to understand how you really, what's going on. So many people, there's so much that goes on in trading. And people are not, they're not putting that piece of that puzzle together. And that's how you lose trades. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and when you're looking at these are the, all these aspects are coming together and you see me combining them and you see how I put things together, put this piece and put that piece together and told you don't move. And this was the determined factor. And so were these. All right. Thank you, Mitchell.